Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I'm showing you how to make a really simple pencil case or actually just a little baggie for pretty much whatever you want. You can see some school stuff in my case inside of here, but you can make different sizes, um, different widths, heights, and then of course different purposes for it. But yeah, it's gonna be a simple project. So even if you're a beginner, feel free to stay tuned and learn something new. Okay, so of course you're gonna need some clothespins, fabric scissors, a zipper. About 25 to 30 centimeters of length is what I recommend. And then you're gonna need an inside and outside fabric. And you can see the two pieces here. In my case, 25 times 30 centimeters. So yeah, if you have a pattern fabric, then you do want the 30 centimeter side to be along the pattern, so to speak. So the horizontal one and that way you're gonna have a really nice end result and your pattern is gonna be facing the right direction. So yeah, we have the 25 times the 30 centimeters of length horizontally. Okay, so let's get started right away. So here is my zipper and that's what we're gonna do first. So here is my outside piece of fabric. So my pretty side is on top and you can see the other white side, the back side of it. So what we want to do now is take our zipper and put it pretty side on pretty side here. So basically facing the fabric. So I'm doing my zipper on my longer side. And if you see that your zipper is too long, you can of course just shorten it and then I'll show you how to work that later. But it's also pretty simple to do. So now we can pin this to keep it all in place. I'm not using clothes pins, which you can do, but I like to use um, clothes pins instead of regular pins. Yeah, so let's do that really quick. And then when everything is aligned, everything in place, you just wanna do a regular straight stitch here on top. So on the very outside of the zipper, as far as close, sorry, as close to the edge as possible. And then when you do that stitch, you're basically done with that side. So yeah, um, first do this side, you can do both at the same time, but it's a little bit more complicated, so we'll keep it a bit um, simpler today. And then what we're gonna do is take our inside fabric, so in my case, the blue one, the plain blue one, and we're again aligning it pretty side on pretty side here. And then again, the same thing. Um, we're aligning here, and you, as I said, you can pin and do these at the same time, but if you're a beginner, I don't recommend doing that because um, it might slip or do weird things. So yeah, you can save a step there, but if you have more experience, it works much better and it prevents, um, we prevent mistakes by doing them separately. So this is what I meant when I said you can do them at the same time. So yeah, you can pretty much choose whichever way you prefer. That's completely up to you. I think I'm gonna do them at the same time because I've been doing this for a while, but that's up to you. Okay, so now that we did this stitch, you can take a look at what you have for now. It still isn't looking like a pencil case, but it'll get there. And you can just check out the sides if everything is straight and here if, it look, if it's looking good. And yeah, apart from that, we're pretty much done with this step. Now you have two possibilities. So you can just leave it as it is and continue with the project. Or what you can do is do another extra stitch here on top, basically on the outside, so along this line here, to make it a little bit flatter that way. So it won't get as puffy later, but that's completely up to you. I like to do this step, but of course, if you're a beginner and yeah, would just like to get a simple project done, um, you don't have to do that. This way, it won't get into the zipper, so that's why I prefer it when I do um, zipper pieces. So yeah, apart from that, we just want to make sure that everything is aligned and straight and looking good. And then I'll do the one extra stitch here. Okay, so now after this step, this is what we have. And you can see the effect, so you can now completely decide if you'd like that or not. I just like the effect, but that's um, that depends on the fabric, of course, and it depends on what kind of style you would like to do. Okay, 
So now what we want to do is basically take our other end. So I'm first going to do the outside and I'm going to show you this little end here. The opposite end goes onto the zipper itself, on, onto the other side of the zipper. So yeah, we're again doing the pretty side on top of the zipper. So I'll show you how you can do that. So you're basically just folding in half, but the wrong way around. So you should have the inside, the uglier side looking or facing you. So yeah, um, also make sure that you align everything. You don't want it kind of slipping and doing weird things. So the edges should be aligned and the corners. And then I'm again gonna pin that up and then we can again do the exact same stitch. You can of course do the inside fabric at the same time. So just like a moment ago, you can do them simultaneously or separately. That's completely up to you, but it's the exact same step with the back. So just fold it in half and the line. I'll show you in a moment. Let me just pin this and turn it around. So you just take the other piece and you just fold it up to here and make sure everything is aligned. Okay, there we are. So now what we want to do is just do an, another stitch basically here on top. And you can see everything is aligned, looking good. Um, everything at, ends at the same place. And then a regular straight stitch here on top on the outside of the, the zipper. So you don't want to catch your zipper into your stitch. And apart from that, it's super simple to do. Okay, so now you can turn it inside out or actually the right way around so that you see your outside fabric and the right side of the inside fabric. Okay, I'm just fixing the corners here. And now what we want to do is do, we'll put the zipper on top in the middle. And you can see here what it looks like if you unzip it this is actually gonna be the inside of your bag and now I want to show you the difference so with and without the stitch here on top of the extra optional stitch so it could basically get caught into your zipper the inside fabric so yeah before I finish this up I do want to do an extra stitch here on top just like on the other side because I just um, think it's a lot safer with a zipper it doesn't get caught in there and it doesn't do weird things and gets it doesn't get all puffed up so yeah we're gonna do that okay so now that I did both of these you can see that they are a little bit flatter and it kind of already looks like pencil case now all we need to do is give it its height basically so make it higher and um, 3d so now what we want to do is again just check if everything is looking good if we have anything weird going on and if not we can do a little band on the side so this is basically just like a band to hang it up on a little loop you can do it on either side I think I'm gonna do it um, here to hide the zipper or the end of the zipper so you don't have to do this but you can I just think it's really pretty and um, yeah, if you do decide to do this, you basically take a double the width of that you want in the end. And I took 15 centimeters of length, um, then I made it into a loop. So I basically closed up the longer sides and then I just folded it in half and um, I stitched it up on the bottom right here where you actually see the stitch. And that way it stays in place and actually looks like a little loop. Okay, so I'm gonna unzip the zipper almost completely, not all the way, so we don't wanna get here in the way of the stitch. Um, so when you unzip it completely, you basically just wanna stop right here before this so that we can stitch over that as well without any difficulty. And now we're gonna turn this inside out. So you do want the inside fabric basically facing you or facing um, outside and then the inside is kind of hidden so the zipper is also basically the wrong way around or we're seeing the back of it but we do need it like this for now so you can see that it basically looks just turned inside out and what we're gonna do now is take our pins and we just want to pin the sides to keep them in place and prevent any slipping or um, weird things 
So also why we did unzip the zipper and why we're leaving it as it is right here is because this is going to be our opening. So we're not doing any holes today um, to turn this inside out later. The zipper is actually going to do that for us. And now what we want to do is align the other side, also pin it up. And then we're doing the stitch here and another stitch on the other side, just like that. So yeah, um, you can do a seam on here. You don't have to, that's completely up to you. Before we do that, we do still have to think about our optional band in case you decided to do that. So we're gonna take our little band and we're gonna put it on the outside here where our zipper is. So on the inside and then um, just push it in there. Make sure that your um, stitch on the very end is facing the outside so it's kind of sticking out and then we're just gonna go over this. Okay, so I did this with a zigzag stitch and I went over it a couple of times here. So just to basically secure it and keep it all in place so that it doesn't rip. And then I cut off the excess fabric on the outside. So on the outside of the stitch to keep everything nice and neat. And you can see how lovely it already looks. And we don't have any extra fabric or excess fabric on where we don't want it on the outside. So yeah, now what we wanna do and still keep it this way so we don't want to turn it inside out yet but we do want to zip it up a little bit um, so yeah we do want a hole here just to keep everything nice and um, so that we're able to turn it inside out but what we want to do before we turn it is take a corner and I'll show you it's so when you lay it flat it's this corner here and then you want to kind of separate the stitch here. So you want to get a triangle shape. There we go. Make sure that it's again aligned and symmetrical. And then you can measure, I'm going to do six centimeters here, but you can of course do more or less. That depends on what you want to get. But um, yeah, we want to do um, basically a line across here, wherever we decide to mark. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna basically stitch it up. So I, as I said, I did six centimeters or I'm gonna do six centimeters, but you can do more or less. The more you do, the more um, you're taking off of the corner and the more um, square it's gonna look later, but you're gonna see that in a moment, I'll show you. So I'm again pinning it to keep everything in place and I'm gonna repeat the exact same step with every corner that I have, so all four of them. So we're measuring the six centimeters and stitching across there. Okay, so everything is prepped and now as you can see, I already marked the thing. So I have here the width of six centimeters in case I wasn't clear um, a moment ago. So it's the exact same thing on all of the sides. I took a little bit of um, a marker to just kind of show you where it is. So let's get to that. We're just going to stitch over this line. After I stitched this up, I cut off the excess fabric on the outside of the stitch and I did an extra zigzag stitch just so I keep it all in place and it doesn't rip later as I use it and wash it and whatnot. So now we're going to turn it inside out and you're going to see the effect. So you're going to see your little pencil case or a big one in case you made a big one. Okay, so I put a couple of things inside, some markers, pencils, um, some paper glue, so regular school stuff, just so I can show you what it looks like. So mine is big enough and it can fit everything inside. Um, so yeah, this is great for work or for school or for uni or whatever um, you want to use it for. 
Of course, if you make a bigger or smaller size, you can use it for many different purposes. So yeah, you can see here what it looks like. You can take your own fabric that you like, um, and then you can just kind of design your own little baggie with a zipper done completely by you in a DIY manner. And yeah, it's done in a couple of minutes, maybe a little bit more if you're a very beginner, but even then you get a very cool result. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the project. Feel free to let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more of our videos, feel free to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell and that way you'll get notified every time we post. So yeah, make sure to do that. And yeah, thanks for watching DIY Ideas. I hope to see you in our next video. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye.